So uh, here's the uh, one-way uh, ball type valve that I made using uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, parts, various parts. Uh, the outside of it, uh, the main part is uh, uh, part of a Briggs and Stratton lawnmower crankshaft. You see I cut it off there and uh, then uh, use that piece. Use the existing uh, hole in it there where the blade mount uh, threads are in it. To uh, for the hole, I drilled that out to uh, 3 8 inch, and uh, drilled the other side. I don't recall exactly what size I used there, but uh, then for the ball, I used the the ball out of uh, a recoil starter. Just took uh, one of them out, and uh, even though you should run a starter with all of them in it, this you know I got enough spares here to uh, have one. Um, so then. The, uh, I gave it about uh, eighth inch travel back and forth. It shakes there so you can't move it. Uh, allowed about an eighth inch of ball movement. Um, and then to hold it in place, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's the, the pin that holds the uh, gear on, on uh, like an eight horse or larger uh, 12 volt electric starter off of Briggs and Stratton. So basically the whole um, one way valve is made from uh, Briggs and Stratton parts. So uh, it seems to work pretty good. I'll uh, just blow into it here and you'll be able to hear it. Get a little bit of ball flutter sometimes, but uh, I think that'll be okay. Now to actually use it on my air compressor, I will will uh, weld a quarter inch uh, pipe fitting to, uh, to the outlet end. And then uh, I've uh, smashed the ceramics out of... Uh, a uh, spark plug here and uh, I'll uh, weld that on there so the whole thing will look kind of like that. Um, so that's pretty much how I did it. Now at the same time I'm going to show you my uh, uh, JB welded up uh, head. Um, this time I filled in where the exhaust valve sits on it. Um, only the inlet valve space is there. Uh, unfortunately I uh, had a little bit of a talk with some of the fins here because the uh, the spark plug was screwed in. It was JB weld in place, and I didn't think it was going to come out. But uh, apparently, the heat from grinding it down um, loosened it, loosened the JB weld up against the thread, so it actually started to unscrew. So, uh, but anyways, you know, I've got lots of cylinder heads too, so so that's okay. This is just a test for the air compressor project, anyways. But you can see I've got. You know, the combustion chamber is pretty well filled up, except right above the uh, the intake valve there. So it should uh, be able to pump uh, pump a lot of air out of there with my my Briggs one-way valve. Okay, that's it for now.